The Secret of Eyes, Eyesight Improvement Program. On this program, we will reveal the secret of the eyes and take you step by step to free your eyes from glasses and any diseases forever. So welcome to the Healthy Eyes World, the new civilization without glasses, without contacts, or any sight correction surgeries. This program was created for anybody who has any problems with eyes. So what is the secret of eyes? The secret is that we don't need glasses or contacts to correct vision. Actually, they are the first enemy of our eyes. It was proven that every single person can take their glasses or contacts off, restore sight, and regardless of age, see as good or better than with glasses. It is for strong people who are ready to move to a higher level of evolution. Even lions fight to survive. So let's fight for healthier eyes and better life. We will show you the way. When you get through the program, improve your sight, get rid of the glasses, and become happier, we will be very happy for you also, dearest friend. We do hope that someday this information will be given as education to children in schools. On this program, you will be given the final true data on how the human eye is built and how it works, why it is helpful to wear glasses and how glasses cripple your eyes, why vision gets poor at first and how to restore it, how to maintain it so it never gets worse. We will reveal the barriers to healthy eyes and provide answers to help you to remove those barriers, which is the biggest difference between this program and other programs which have existed before. We will teach you on a gradient approach, simple procedures and exercises to restore your vision and to make your eyes healthy. You learn how to improve your eyes without any medicine, supplements, or surgery. Actually, the amount of help an individual can get with this program is greater than with any other single method in existence today, as it is giving men back their best eyesight and health. The program consists of six classes. After each class, you will be given homework. Very simple steps, requiring only your conscious intention to improve your eyesight and your health in general, as your eyes are just a part of the whole body system. By doing your classes diligently, you will observe the vision improvements right away. So let's get started. Here is some theory that will help you to understand how it is possible that in the United States, more than 160 million people suffer from eye problems, and none of those people even know that vision can be restored without any medical application whatsoever. Around 160 years ago, there was a German physicist and psychologist, Hermann von Helmholtz, who assumed that the human eye has the shape of a ball. In front of the eye, there is a convex lens surrounded by the so-called ciliary muscle. According to Helmholtz, when one looks at an object in the distance, the cellular muscle relaxes, making the lens flat, and the focus of the lens is on the retina. The retina is light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. When one looks at close objects, Helmholtz assumed, the cellular muscle squeezes the lens so the lens gets more convex. The shape of the lens is more spherical. And so for distant vision, the muscle relaxes, the lens is flat, for close vision, the muscle contracts and the lens is more spherical. What is nearsightedness, myopia, according to Helmholtz? On some people, he didn't know why, the muscle relaxes but the lens does not return to the flat shape. Such people Helmholtz called nearsighted. In this case, the lens is too convex, the focus is in the middle of the eyeball, and the image on the retina is blurry. Helmholtz offered to compensate this nearsightedness with the concavo concave or the minus lens. The minus lens increases the focusing distance to the retina, and for over 160 years, all nearsighted people have been prescribed minus glasses. Who of you is nearsighted? This is your problem and this is your trouble. Well, what is farsightedness according to Helmholtz? On other people, he assumed, the muscle ages and its strength weakens. As a result, the lens is flat. So farsighted people see distant objects perfectly well. For close objects, however, the lens should get squeezed or become more convex, but the muscle has no power to do it. Man tries to read, but the focus of the optical system is behind the retina, and the image on the retina is blurry. So Helmholtz offered to compensate farsightedness, presbyopia, by convexo-convex, or plus, glasses. Convexo-convex glasses decrease the focusing distance from behind the eye back to the retina. And for more than 160 years, all farsighted people have been prescribed plus glasses. So who of you is farsighted? That's your problem. 
It seems like a trap. The end. Well, lucky for us, there was an honest doctor, American ophthalmologist William Bates. He observed that with the official medical approach, he wasn't curing people's eyes. In two to four years, every single patient was coming back with more eye troubles, and he was only selling them stronger glasses. But he noticed that some patients, after a long vacation without glasses because of having broken or lost them, had significant eye improvement. He also learned that Native American hunters have a tradition of doing eye exercises. After precise research, Dr. Bates discovered that the theory of Helmholtz was totally false. Exploring the eye deeply inside with the help of the just-invented retinoscope, Dr. Bates could clearly see the real structure of the eye and how it actually functions. He published the book in 1920, where he formulated a theory about vision health. So here it is. Each eye has six muscles. There are four rectus, or straight, horizontal muscles, which are moving the eye up, down, left, and right. There are two oblique, or slanting, diagonal muscles, embracing the back of the eye on both upper and lower sides. So how do the eyes work? The human eye is 99% water, and because of the natural inner pressure, when all muscles are relaxed, it has the shape of a ball and sees far perfectly well. For focusing on close objects, the horizontal muscles relax, the diagonal muscles contract, and squeeze the eyeball, making it into an oval shape. The eye works like a simple photo camera. So what is nearsightedness, in fact? It was found that physical traumas, emotional or physical overstrain, cause a fixated, stretched out eye, resulting in long eyes. The six eye muscles also curve or flatten the lens. Here is a typical case of the cause of nearsightedness in a child. He is sitting in school, bending his body over the desk, staring at a book at the same fixed position for five hours, making his eye muscles get tired. Then he continues at home, doing his homework, often with the angry parent causing emotional stress. The child's eye muscles are too tight, which keeps his eyes out of shape for too long. Because of this overstrain and fright, his eyes remain in this fixated shape. The child sees near just fine, but if he wants to see far, he can't relax his diagonal muscles. He starts seeing a bit worse at a distance. His parents take him to the eye doctor, who gives him the immediate verdict. Your child is nearsighted and needs glasses. In a few years, he will be back needing stronger glasses. And a few years after that, he will need even stronger glasses. And so it will go for the rest of his life. But once you put the minus glasses on, your diagonal muscles will never have the chance to relax to the essential position. The glasses will not allow it. Even if you want to relax them with the glasses, you won't be able to see. With more visual strains and emotional stress, the eyes will stretch out more and more from minus two in childhood, getting stronger glasses each couple of years up to ridiculous thicknesses such as minus 22. Now what's Dr. Bates' solution for nearsightedness? He offered to relax over-tightened diagonal muscles and strengthen weakened horizontal muscles. With the help of simple procedures and exercise, your eye muscles will work just fine again and your vision will be improved. Altogether, the glasses are very harmful to our eyes, not just because they don't let the eye muscles relax, but much worse, they deprive our eyes from motion. Without glasses, our eyes are always in motion. The muscles work, they are in great tonus, the blood circulates, it delivers nutrients and oxygen to all tissues of the eye, all parts of the eye system are alive and healthy. But with glasses on his nose, the person moves his head instead of the eyes in order to see things. Ask people who wear glasses for decades to move their eyes. They literally can't. We know that driving is more convenient than walking. But if you don't walk at all, we don't make the muscles work, and they atrophy. So without motion, our eye muscles get detrained. They degrade and atrophy. Even more, when some part of the body is inactive, the brain, which is the central communicator of the body, gets the message that that part of the body is no longer alive and stops a new blood. The main function of blood is delivering the oxygen and nutrients to the cells and carrying out the waste and toxins. Without new blood supplying vitamins, minerals, and oxygen, waste and toxins accumulate, resulting in all kinds of inflammations. These can be identified as glaucoma, cataracts, cancer, all kinds of eye diseases, you name it. Yes, it is this simple. The major cause of those difficulties is wearing the glasses. Now, what actually is farsightedness? 
For most people, especially with age, the workability of the diagonal muscles weakens. Our fitness clubs are full. People train legs and arms, but our eye muscles need to work out too. But we were never told to take care of our eyes, to give them training and relaxation. There are tons of advertisements on supplements, medications, surgery, 24-7. But would anyone ever say, listen people, give your eyes some rest, train them? No, no one is talking about that. So most people around age 40 have the diagonal muscles weakened and the horizontal muscles intoxicated, polluted, not elastic as in younger ages. As a result, the eye is still a sphere. The focus is on the retina and we have a classical far-sighted person. You can see at a distance just fine. To see close, to read or write, the eye should get pushed into a long shape. But that is impossible because the horizontal muscles are contracted. They hold the eye too tight and the diagonal muscles don't have enough power to squeeze the eye from both sides to make it long. Now, if you place the plus glasses on a far-sighted person, you ensure his diagonal eye muscles do not work at all, because for the far-sighted person, they are not even needed. The glasses do 100% of the job instead of the diagonal muscles. Here is a typical case. A man around 40 years old develops difficulties with reading in the evening, so he gets his first 1.5 prescription. He can then enjoy his reading and writing at night again. But after wearing plus glasses for seven days, he is not able to even read and write during the daytime as well. Wearing glasses for only seven days can cripple your eyes forever. Because of the glasses, the muscles get weaker and weaker. Each couple of years, you are given stronger prescriptions. On this program for five days, you learn how to relax your horizontal muscles and how to get diagonal muscles trained so that they can squeeze your eyes and get them into an oval shape. On the sixth day, after special powerful training, you will be able to read without glasses and never wear them again. The muscles in the eye are very tiny and sensitive. They can get detrained and weakened easily, but they can be restored fast. Now, what is offered for the farsighted? A simple clear plan. Reject wearing glasses, or at the very least, switch to your old ones with a lower diopter correction. Your eyesight on the program will get better every day. Special training will enforce the diagonal muscles. And at the same time, with the help of another simple procedure, relax the horizontal muscles. The eyes will again be able to work well as a perfect photo camera. They can squeeze and move forward for near vision and retreat to focus on distant objects. Wearing plus glasses for a long time, the horizontal muscles become too stagnated and intoxicated. They pull the eye back with such strength that it begins to lean against its orbit and even get a vertical flat-like shape, making the eyeball short. So people can't see distant objects well without plus glasses. They need plus 1.5 glasses to return focus into the eyeball for distant vision and plus 3 for reading. It is so-called hypermetropia, hyperopic. We call it complicated farsightedness, short eye. For these people, they wear bifocal glasses. They need reading glasses and other glasses for watching TV. So the ordinary farsighted is a simple case, but the ones with flat eye, we will have to work on just a bit longer. The third kind of eye disorder, cross eye or lazy eye, one group of muscles is too tight and the opposite muscles are over loose and weakened. This is caused by fright or trauma. The muscles of newborns are not strong. The baby learns how to use all his muscles to control them, the legs, the eyes, the arms, everything. The eyes are not aligned yet. They wander in different directions. So any trauma or fright, they can get fixated and stuck in a squint position. What is the doctor's suggestion? Expensive and very dangerous surgery to cut the tightened muscle. But any medical application to the eyes is only a temporary solution since it never addresses the real cause of the problem. This is the conventional way of dealing with the eye problem and it is not a good solution at all. So what should be done for cross eye? To relax the group of tightened muscles and to train, make stronger, the loose group of opposed muscles, the eye will go into its natural position. The most significant results of eye improvements are observed on children. When parents do this program on their children, the results are astonishingly fast. Their muscles are very elastic, they're still growing, they're not yet intoxicated, and their eyes and vision will get better and better each day on the program. The fourth kind of eye disorder is astigmatism. And by the way, it can only be cured with this method. And in reality, practically every person with glasses has astigmatism. Wearing glasses causes it. Astigmatism is an optical defect in which vision is blurred due to the inability of the optics of the eye to focus an image on the retina. This kind of eye problem is due to the same muscle disorder in which the image becomes doubled or even tripled. 
To understand this problem easily, imagine the air balloon if you squeeze it with two hands. If some of the muscles are too loose and others are too contracted, the focus will never get to the center of the retina, and the picture will be blurry. When Dr. Bates' patients conscientiously practiced his methods, they always had their vision restored. This was applied to patients with errors of refraction as well as organic diseases. This program restores the power and elasticity to the eyes, and due to inner pressure of the eye, it regains its spherical shape, which restores symmetrical flow of the optical beams. Vision improves and astigmatism disappears. No glasses or contacts can compensate for astigmatism. This program combines brilliant, intentionally forgotten, but now rediscovered methods of Dr. Bates. We added data from the most profound recent scientific research to remove the obstacles to the application of his methods, making it now fully workable for everybody to restore the health of their eyes. Thousands have taken their glasses off after going through the program. This program is not medical, but fully natural. We do not interfere in the field of medicine. With this program, vision always gets restored, regardless of age. One of the most remarkable participants was academic Fedor Uglov. His name is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest microsurgeon in the world, practicing for 78 years. At the age of 46, when he was performing surgery on the battlefields of World War II, he got his first plus 1.5 glasses. Uglov got this program when he was 95 years old. He participated for just four days, then he worked two weeks on his own. He took off his glasses and expressed his gratitude for freeing him from glasses. Imagine how hard it was for half a century to perform microsurgery with sweat running down from under his glasses. He lived to 104 and never wore glasses again. He continued performing the most difficult microsurgeries, driving a big car, working in his garden, taking a sauna, then bathing in the snow afterwards. This person is the greatest example for all of us by his achievements on the eye improvement program and living his outstanding life helping others. To summarize, more than 100 years ago, it was discovered and proven that all four eye disorders, nearsightedness, farsightedness, cross eye, and astigmatism are caused by failure to work the six eye muscles. And the absolutely harmless, simple yet perfectly working sight improvement system was developed, but you never heard about it. Why? Yearly profit of the eyeglass and contact industry is more than $50 billion. This yearly $50 billion does not let the scientific data get through to the people who suffer and some even become blind. Another reason, the sluggishness of medical science. For more than 100 years, the true working theory of Dr. Bates has been known presenting sight degradation, restoring vision, and the negative effects of wearing glasses. But until today, all students in medical schools around the world study only Hermann von Helmholtz. And based upon his theory, with the first simple shift of vision, they hang artificial lenses on people's noses, leading them eventually to all eye diseases and blindness. Guess whose name the majority of visual institutions have? The name of old fellow Helmholtz. A few more words about eye diseases. The elderly account for about one-third of all people with eye problems. Glaucoma and cataracts are common. Medical books say that the etiology of these diseases is not clear. Etiology means the cause or origin of disease. But the cause of glaucoma and cataracts, as surprising as it sounds, is very simple. It is the result of lack of eye motion when wearing glasses. As you already know, while wearing glasses, the muscles don't work. There is no motion. No blood circulation, no supply of vitamins, minerals, oxygen. Their tiny excretory tubes become constricted. Pressure raises. Weights get accumulated in the lenses and inside of the eyeball. Then it is called cataracts or glaucoma. All people with the beginnings of cataracts and glaucoma and all eye diseases could be greatly helped by doing this simple program of eye relaxation and gymnastics, restoring muscle workability. An organism under the proper care is perfectly capable of regenerating its essential structure and vital functionality. As an example, if you have a wound, you disinfect it to prevent inflammation, and in a month there won't even be a scar. This, basically speaking, is the mode of operation of this method, providing the conditions for normal circulation of the blood. Sickness and disorder steps off and disappears. An elderly woman around 80 years old with diabetes, after some stress, got exploding glaucoma and went blind. The drops were not helping. Her son, who recently improved his own eyesight through this program, recommended it to his mother. She went through the program very diligently, praying for healing, and in one week the lady could see again. 
Instead of sitting blind and hopeless, despite the doctor's verdict of blindness, she took responsibility for her condition and took a chance on the program. Now that is great courage. If anyone has the beginning of glaucoma or cataracts, start the program immediately to avoid serious complications in your eyes and life. People generally don't know the cause of cataracts. When you wake up in the morning, look at the ceiling, and if you see little bugs, specks floating in front of your eyes, this is cataracts one of the first signs of the world of blindness. These specks can float for 5 to 15 years, but someday they just seize up as a film. So it is very important to go through this program because it is not only helping to restore sight, but preventing any eye sickness. This method is not medical. We don't cure here, but teach you how the eye is built, how to improve vision, how to relax the muscles, and to train them and maintain their workability. Nobody needs your eyes except you. We live in a great time when unknowns are becoming known. With this program, there is no excuse to remain ignorant, to continue to suffer. This accelerated program will take you step by step to improve your eyesight and give you preventive techniques to enjoy good vision, the greatest gift of nature. Now, let's check your eyes. Wearing your reading glasses, if you cannot see at a distance of three feet, this is excellent because it is simple farsightedness. If you do your best not to wear glasses, in five to six days of training, you will see and read without glasses. Now, if through your reading glasses, you can see objects at a distance of three feet or farther, you have a more complicated condition, which might take a few more weeks. If you are a parent and you want to do the program on your child, do it with kindness and as a game. Children love to play. Do it with the same steps as for adults. Start with the relaxation techniques. Eyes are part of the brain, extended outside. Wearing glasses is very harmful. Glasses are optical crutches, crippling your eyes. Every time you put them on, you harm your eyes. Remember that. Glasses restrict your eye muscles from motion. Not working muscles causes them to degrade very fast and can even atrophy. And even more harmful. Glasses are keeping your eyes motionless, causing a lowering of blood circulation, lack of nutrients, lack of oxygen supply, resulting in glaucoma, cataracts, and all kinds of eye diseases. Step one in the eye improvement program is to take the glasses off. If you can't, go back to your old glasses, weaker ones, because every day on the program you will experience vision improvement, and your current glasses will give you discomfort or pain. They are also a barrier to improvement. Do everything you can without glasses, even if you don't see well. You can remember all the things around your house, and it's only six days. Also, try to stay away from activities where you would need glasses. Do something easy instead. Play with your children, with your pets, go outside, take long walks, enjoy yourself. Any medication that comes with a warning not to drive and sleeping pills are not suggested during the program as they slow down muscle reaction. And if you can't sleep, do the relaxation procedure. The next night you will have a good deep sleep. Here's how you do it.